Hey everyone, it's Chelsea from Little Mountain Ranch. It has been requested of me in the comment section to take you guys with me around as I go about my kind of my affairs, I guess. <laughs> so that is a little bit of a challenge for me, mostly because I'm constantly forgetting to bring the camera. That being said, I've remembered this morning, so what I thought I would do is take you with me and show you all the things that we have been up to on the farm over the last couple of days. And then I also have to bring some hay down to some cows that I had to move into another pen, and I'll show you why I needed to do that in just a sec. So let's go. Okay, so different things that we've been up to have been, have been fencing the garden. That has been the biggest project that's been happening over the last little while. So I'm gonna show you how it's looking so far. Super happy with it. Um, so this is the fence that we have put up. And as you can see, there is a string of barbed wire across the top. And that is to stop cows and horses from leaning over and trying to grab stuff on the other side and pushing the top of the fence down. I did take a bunch of footage over the weekend. Um, sorry, sunglasses on. Um, I did take a bunch of footage over the weekend, hoping to make a video showing the whole process of doing this fencing. But I have had nothing but bad luck when it comes to, or bad luck, bad planning, not sure which one it is, um, when it comes to my camera. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but a few weeks ago, or maybe a month or so ago, I had my camera down in the barn and something happened and I had to run up to the house, left my camera in there and I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, my pigs knocked the camera over and ate my microphone. They actually ate the microphone. There was nothing left of it. I mean, they chewed it. They didn't actually eat it, but it was completely ruined. Anyway, needed to buy another microphone. So I decided to upgrade slightly on the same brand because I really liked the brand of microphone and I use a Rode mic. And um, so I upgraded on it. But the downside of this microphone, even though I think the sound is a little bit better, is the fact that it has an on off switch and my other microphone, if it was plugged into the camera, it worked. And so I'm having to retrain myself to remember to turn the mic on. And the other downside of it is that it is battery operated. And so the batteries will run out and what that happened. So I ended up not remembering to turn it on for part of the video. I ended up having a video or the battery die for part of the video. And then at the last one, it was slightly unplugged off the side of my camera. I couldn't believe it. Nobody could believe it at that point. And so we didn't get any sound. So I have a bunch of footage of us working on the fence, which I'll show you right now. Okay, say, say that yeah, again. Oh, okay. Good, yeah. Super excited about this because it's working really well, which is going to make my husband, which is going to make Farm Dad very happy because fencing is not really his favorite thing in the world to do. Make things that make it work easier. Yay! But look at how straight this fence is. Nice and straight. So yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna have to put my sunglasses. Where did I put my sunglasses? Back on again because it is too bright. 
Um, we got a whole bunch of the fencing done, which was totally awesome. So when we were evacuated last summer, and I, um, I mentioned this and kind of explained this in a couple of my videos just because I realized that a lot of people don't know that are new subscribers to our channel kind of what happened last summer. So we were evacuated for a couple of months due to the forest fires in BC last summer. And when that happened, um, we had uh, animals coming in off range. So we live in an area that's surrounded by a huge cattle ranch and we had cows coming in off range and our cows everywhere and everybody was smashing through fences. And we ended up with a bunch of cattle in our garden, which um, destroyed this little rock wall that Sam and I built last summer. So what Sam and I did yesterday, and I'll show you this, this is mostly the handiwork of Sam. I'm gonna put some gravel on these steps and then down in this lower place here. So we have some steps coming down and then a little garden on this side. And my plan is to fill this with herbs here and up on this area. And I'll probably put some rocks just in a semicircle right here just to sort of divide it off from the main garden. Then another garden over here. And I have just put some amendments in the soil just to get it ready for filling it up with herbs. So I really like the way that turned out. I really like cottagey kind of low tech looking flower gardens. I just love the magical whimsicalness of this. So I just love this. And then Sam actually put in, so it like goes like this and then goes in like this. And he just did that because he knew I would like it. And I love it. So into the greenhouse. Nice and toasty warm in here. So everything is coming up and growing really nicely. Underneath this, I have all of my um, squash plants. They like a lot of heat, so I just have them wrapped in some extra plastic to keep them protected in the evening and hopefully everything will germinate. So the okra is up here, most of it. There's a couple that didn't come up. Maybe they still will come up there but I do have one, two, three, four, five little okra plants there. We're getting some true leaves starting on here. You can see some leaves coming. The cold loving plants are not minding this at all, being in this greenhouse at all. But the ones that are the warm loving, heat loving plants, are definitely struggling a little bit more. So these are the tomato plants here. And I did bring them inside to get them germinating. It is toasty warm and we're supposed to have really warm temperatures all week. So I'm gonna unwrap these. And I also planted, this is a horseradish plant that I put into this pot. And the reason that I did that is because Apparently they do not like frost and we are still getting frost at night. So I have to wait to put it outside and in the ground until we are at frost free days, which isn't going to be till probably towards the end of May. One thing I have noticed about these soil blocks is they do dry out super, super fast. So I actually have been, Oh, I'm sorry. Got distracted here, but I'm really excited because the heat worked and there's a little tiny, whoop. <laughs> cucumber plant coming up there. Yay! They really do love heat. If it's cold at all, they will not germinate. So any of the um, soil blocks that are along the edge of the trays dry out really, really fast. So I've actually found that packing them together and making sure that they're really close together so there's not a big air gap in between the soil blocks seems to work better. Also just using this little tiny plastic container for watering. Um, I eventually want to get a fogger, which is like a really fine mist sprayer to spray these. But right now, I don't, that's not in the cards <laughs> for the budget. So the little plastic container and it's working fine. It gives a, a, like a light enough drizzle of water over it that it's not affecting the soil blocks at all. Okay, now I need to find, oh no, I have one more thing to show you in the garden first before we go and find my tractor. Well, this is my asparagus patch where you can see all this leaf mulch here. And then that is my rhubarb right there. No laughing, Serena. I know yours is growing like crazy. Mine is, it is coming up underneath the leaf mulch, I promise. <laughs> but um, so what I did yesterday was I cleaned this patch out. So burned all the weeds and everything that were in there yesterday. Asparagus does not like competition for weeds or grasses or anything like that. So I'm trying really hard to keep that out of here. And then also every couple of years, some fertilizer or compost on your asparagus patch is supposed to help quite a bit. So that's what I've done here. So we'll just, I'll give you a little bit of a view of my garden here. So this is the raspberry patch, asparagus patch, and this 
is the garden itself so it goes down to down way down here and then over on this side is my little orchard that we are hoping to add some new fruit trees to this year and then down there is my dilapidated chicken tractors that need a little bit of work again this year because I again did not put them under cover this year and then my root cellar is down here and I will do a video specifically about this root cellar coming up pretty quick okay now to go find that tractor okay found the tractor warm up the tractor and then I'm gonna go over and get the hay feeder from over here and move it out to where I moved my cows so the reason I moved my cows is because they were in the field that was joining up with the garden and I didn't want them all getting into that space so I moved them into a different pen and as soon as we are done fencing one of our upper pastures we'll be moving them up there for the summertime and getting them off the hay field so that's what I'm gonna do right now Super proud of myself about that because the big tractors I am not used to running but it's really important to me that whatever needs to be done on the farm that I'm capable of doing it too. I've mentioned in some of my videos before that I'm not really the best at tractor driving or big machinery it's something that I'm learning but it's not something that comes naturally to me so whenever I have an opportunity to drive the tractors I do so that I can hopefully at some point get better at doing it <laughs> being on a farm is partly for me about learning new skills growing my capacity and to be able to learn to do some new things and some things that I find difficult and machinery definitely falls in that category for me so super happy I was able to do that I'm gonna head inside now it's actually a later in the day than it was when I was filming earlier I did get a bunch of more filming done for another video later on um, some other things I did taking the kids out for a hike and going up and doing some stuff with my bees that was great and now it's time to go in and get supper scooped up I made ham and scalloped potatoes and veggies for dinner tonight so we're gonna go in and eat that and it's a good thing too because I am starving if you liked this video please hit that like button down below it really helps me to know what videos you guys are liking and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button I would love to have you as part of the little mountain ranch community until next time everyone bye